In this video we're going to look at perpendicular lines. I've drawn two lines that are perpendicular to each other, in other words they cross at 90 degrees, and I've worked out their gradients. So for this first line, if you choose a point and you go across one, you go up two, across one, go up two. So the gradient of the first line is equal to two. The gradient for the second line, well if you choose a point, you go across one, down a half, across one, down a half, so the gradient is equal to minus a half. So these two lines are perpendicular, and the gradient for the first one is two, and the uh, the gradient for the second one is equal to minus a half. I've, worked out, I've done this for several other graphs and this is what I've found. So I found that whenever I've done it for well, the first one, the line was 2 and the perpendicular line was minus a half. Another line, the gradient was 3 and the perpendicular line was minus a third. Another line, the gradient was 2 thirds and the perpendicular line with the gradient was equal to minus 3 halves. Um, I drew a line with a gradient of minus a quarter and the perpendicular line had a gradient of four and I drew a line with a gradient of minus five halves and the gradient of the perpendicular line was two fifths. Notice that what we are doing here is you're taking the reciprocal of the line. So remember the reciprocal of two is a half, the reciprocal of three is a third, the reciprocal of two thirds is three halves, and we're changing the sign. Well, obviously that makes sense. If one line's going up, the other line has to go down. So whenever you've got two lines that are perpendicular to each other, um, the gradients will be the negative reciprocal of each other. The rule is, if line one has a gradient of m, if line two is perpendicular to line one, its gradient will be minus one over m. In other words, you take the reciprocal of the gradient and you times it by minus one and you make it a negative. Okay, um, if, the neg if the gradient of the first line was negative, you would take the reciprocal and then make it a positive. So in other words, you take the reciprocal and change the sign. Let's have a look at some exam questions now. Okay, so our first GCSE question says, write down the gradient of a line perpendicular to AB. So first of all, you need to work out the gradient of the line AB. So let's choose two points. Let's choose this point and this point, and let's do rise of a run. So it goes one, two, it goes three across. It goes minus nine, or it goes nine down, or the rise is minus nine. So you're gonna do minus nine divided by three, the gradient is equal to minus three. In other words, if you go across one, you go down three, across one, you go down three, and so on. So the gradient of this line, so gradient, gradient, gradient of AB is equal to minus three. Now I wanna find the gradient of a line that is perpendicular to this. So that's a negative reciprocal. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the sign, so we're going to make a positive, and we're going to take the reciprocal of 3, but well, the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. So the gradient of the line that is perpendicular to AB would be perpendicular, gradient perpendicular to AB, perpendicular to AB, M would it be equal to a third. So we've changed the sign from negative to positive, and you take the reciprocal of three, so it'd be a third. In other words, you go across three up one, and it would look something like that if you were to draw it. Okay, this time we've been asked to find the gradient of a line which is perpendicular to PQ. So here we've got the line PQ. So let's first of all work out its gradient. So let's choose two points on the line. So let's choose this point and this point. And if you were to work out its gradient, it's rise divided by run. The rise is four and the run is one, two, three. So the gradient of this line is four divided by three or m equals four over three, four thirds. Now the perpendicular line, well it's gonna be the negative reciprocal. So we take the reciprocal of four thirds, so that's three quarters. But it's a negative reciprocal, so the gradient would be equal to minus three quarters. So the line which is um, the gradient of the line which is perpendicular to PQ will have a gradient of minus three quarters. Okay, this time we've got a line drawn for us, and it says write down the equation of a line that passes through the point zero three, so it's going to pass through the same point as A, but is perpendicular to this line. So first of all, we're going to need to work out the gradient of this line. So if you go across one, you go down two, across one, down two, so the gradient of this line, M is equal to minus two. Okay, so the gradient of this line is equal to minus two. So we want to find the equation of a line that's perpendicular to it, so it's going to be Y equals MX plus C because that's the equation of a line. And if this line has a gradient of minus two, well the negative reciprocal of that, so the reciprocal of two is a half, and it's minus, so you're gonna to need to make a positive. So it's gonna be y equals a half x plus c. Now all we need to do is find this number c where it crosses the y-axis. Now the question's quite nice. It tells us it's gonna go through the point zero three, which is this point. Well that's three on the y-axis, so the y-intercept is three. So the equation of the line is gonna be y equals a half x, 
plus 3. Okay, so here's a question where it's asked us to find out which of these four lines are perpendicular, or which, which pair are perpendicular to each other out of these four lines. So the gradient of the first line is 3. The gradient of the second line is equal to minus 3. The number in front of the x, minus 3. The gradient of the third line is equal to a third. And the gradient of the bottom line is equal to 3. Remember, y equals mx, y equals mx plus c. This number, or that letter, so the number in front of the x stands for the gradient. Okay, so the gradient of this line is 3, gradient of this one, minus 3, the gradient of this one, a third, and the gradient of this one is 3. Now, for them to be perpendicular to each other, they're going to be the negative reciprocal of each other. So, A, the gradient, let's just write the gradient down, 3, minus 3, a third, and 3. Now, the ones that are the uh, negative reciprocal, so you've got 3, 3, minus 3, and 3. Well, the reciprocal of 3 is equal to a third, but it's going to be the minus reciprocal. So, if this is equal to a third, the minus reciprocal, flip it over, would be 3 minus 3, whenever it's the minus reciprocal. So, these two lines, line B and line C, would be perpendicular to each other because they would have um, the gradients are the negative reciprocal to each other. I remember also if they are perpendicular, one gradient is going to be positive and one gradient is going to be negative. Unless it's an x equals graph and a y equals graph, where one will be straight up and one will be straight across. But in most cases, one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative, and the reciprocal. And finally, this question says, find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line y equals minus 2x plus 1 and passes through the point 2, 6. So firstly, the gradient of the line that is perpendicular to is equal to minus 2. So the R line is going to be in the form y equals mx plus c. And the gradient will be equal to the negative reciprocal of this gradient. So the gradient for this one's minus 2. Well, the negative reciprocal... Well, that's going to be reciprocal of 2 is a half, and because this is negative, the minus reciprocal, well, you times that by minus, and that would make it a plus, so it's going to be equal to half. So y equals a half x plus c. Now, all we need to do is find this c. So we need to know a point on the line. Well, we do. It passes through the point 2, 6. Remember a point, the first part is x, and the second part is y. So because the, uh, the coordinate is 2, 6, we're going to put these values in. So y is 6, so you're going to get 6 equals a half of x, well x is 2, plus c. A half of 2 is 1, so 6 equals 1 plus c. And really, if you take 1 away from 6, you're going to get that c is equal to 5. So we know our c is equal to 5, so we just put that back into here. So you get the equation of the line that's perpendicular to uh, y is equal to minus 2x plus 1, and passes through 2, 6 would be y equals a half x plus 5. 